Buckeye Power Sports. Today we're working on a 99.73 diesel and I wanted to show you guys what we're doing. So <clears throat> I'm doing a lot of work to the 73 diesel and we're going to be taking off the turbo. We're going to be taking the injectors out and we're going to be taking that down pipe out that's in there and we're going to replace replace it with the bank's elbow kit and I'll show you there's what the bank's elbow kit looks like and we're changing the turbo too so um, I got everything I needed from eBay even the Spanx turbo kit came from eBay and uh, it comes with your clamps comes with gaskets and this and and stickers and whatnot. Stickers don't give you power. I don't know who tells people that. <laughs> but anyways, um, here's the elbow kit. And it looks like they TIG welded it. It's a lot lighter than uh, what what's in the truck already. And then uh, they give you a box of goodies here. Let's see what's going on with this box of goodies. <clears throat> This box out of here, taking up room. Okay. So, give me one second here, and I'm going to open up this box and see what's inside. This is the first time I've ever opened one of these, and the first time I've ever installed one of these kits. So, not that I couldn't install it, I've never used this kit before. I'm curious to see if it's gonna make make better power. I'm sure anything is an improvement, but we'll just have to see. All right, fellas, ladies and gentlemen, there's the elbow, the Banks elbow kit. It's an official Banks kit that came from uh, eBay, so and it's got their insignia on it, and it's branded in there, so it's not like it's a fake. This is all real. This ain't Chinese stuff, so, and I'm guessing this is the piece that uh, goes on the back to keep it, the firewall from overheating, so... That being said, um, we also have a turbo we're going to put on, like I said earlier. We've got the turbo, we've got the turbo mount, we've got new injector O-rings we're going to put in. Um, we are also going to do a oil cooler reseal kit, which by the way is only $8 at O'Reilly's. I checked it. Like the dealer and everybody else, they wanted anywhere from $100 to $50, and it's just some O-rings and some paper gasket. It's eight dollars out of Riley's, cheapest way to go. <laughs> They're quality parts, so you're not gonna get anything better than that that I think of, unless you can get it free. Um, as far as the rest of the stuff I'm gonna do to this truck, there's gonna be an oil change, oil filter. I've already put on the fuel filter. By the way, I do want to say that when I tried to get just a fuel filter cap. The fuel filter cap for this truck is like four, like nineteen dollars if you order it online. Rock Auto has it for thirteen dollars, but I think you're gonna get the filter with it. So what I had the customer do is go to O'Reilly's. If you didn't want to order online and you just wanted to go and pick it up, you can get this micro guard and none, none of nobody is paying me to say this it was just hassle free um, I had my customer go down to O'Reilly's and have him pick up just a filter kit and it came with the lid and it was $19 or I'm sorry it was $29 it was it blew my mind because everybody wanted $50 to like $100 just for that stupid lid I cannot believe that it's that much. Um, so if you're looking for a microguard filter and cap, 
there you go. O'Reilly's has it for $27. And I'll show you uh, some other stuff I've already done to this truck. So I've already put on a uh, booster for the brake booster. And I've put on a power steering pump, power steering lines. I've also done... I've also done a belt, pulleys, and tensioner. So with that being said, we're going to continue to keep working on this truck. Uh, I had to power wash the whole truck. As a power, I mean, the whole truck was just oily, nasty, and I wasn't going to work on it all the way. Um, it, it just makes things easier that way. We do have a white pipe kit that I'm putting on, and I'm going to show you the white pipe kit here. There's the Y pipe, and I'm gonna. It's leaking, and most of the time when it leaks, the uh, flanges that leak on it are cracked and worn out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put all new pipes, all new hardware, new Y pipe, and uh, that's gonna fix this exhaust leak, and it's gonna make that turbo spool up a lot better, rather than losing diesel pressure on the on the exhaust side. So uh, the turbo is gonna run much more efficient. So with that being said, I'll uh, I'll get an up, I'll make an updated video of the 7.3 diesel. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, subscribe, and share. See ya.